Greetings, friends, and welcome to this time of guided meditation, time we call Lectio Divina, or Divine Reading. I welcome you. I'm Pastor Dale Peterson, Senior Pastor at Faith Lutheran in Waconia, and today coming from the Fireside Room at Faith Lutheran. Good to be with you. Thank you for joining me for these times. And if you've joined me before, you know we start with some deep breathing and just kind of get the wiggles out and find a comfortable position, feet flat on the floor, usually our hands with open palm resting on our legs, or, uh, and that's the sign of receiving, to palm up is to receive, palm down to let go. Um, so whatever you need today, and we'll be coming back to holding our hands in certain ways later in this practice. So it is a practice. It takes time to get used to. If this is something new to you, I welcome you and invite you to just rest. And so with feet on the floor, with your body weight sinking into the chair, and to breathe. Deep, full breaths. Long, full inhales, maybe to the count of four or five. Long, slow exhales, a little longer, maybe to the count of six or seven. Studies show that deep breathing helps us to relax, relieve stress, during this time and with our breathing as we start, we move our thoughts from our head to our heart, moving from concentration to contemplation, moving into a different time, a sacred time, a time for you and God to be together, a time we call restful attentiveness, where we rest knowing that we rest in God's loving hands, that God holds us and promises to never let us go. And so breathe. See if you can take that breath deep down into your lungs to the very bottom so that your stomach expands and then relaxes. The word spirit in the Bible, pneuma, is the same as breath. And so we know that God breathed God's breath, God's spirit, pneuma, into those first humans in that same breath. God's Holy Spirit has been breathed into us. So I invite you to rest. I'll read today from Psalm 46. And as is the practice in Lectio Divina to read the scripture through three times. And the first time through, to just listen. Just let the words soak in. It's helpful for you as it is for me. I close my eyes for long periods of time. For those that have joined me before, you may already have eyes closed. And just let my voice be background. This time we call restful attentiveness is to be attentive to God's spirit using scripture today, Psalm 46, as background, as guidance, as a help to our paying attention. And so let the words come to you like fresh spring rain on dry grass. Let it soak in. Let it feed you. Let it nourish 
your soul, whether that be dry or full of life. And breathe. And rest. Listen with your heart. Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. God utters God's voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations the Lord has brought on the earth. The Lord makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. The Lord breaks the bow and shatters the spear. The Lord burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. So rest, just rest. This is not a time of doing, just being. Take this time to rest and know that in these next 10 or 11 minutes, you can just be. If distractions come, just let them go. I believe this is a relevant passage for us today as we live with the coronavirus, the pandemic. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Very present help. The Lord is near, as near as our heartbeat within us, as near as our breath that fills us. God is that near and a very present help. There's a beautiful passage at the end of this. It says, be still and know that I am God. It's a favorite verse of my spiritual director, the late great Dr. Professor Bill Smith from Luther Seminary. Bill would often come back to this passage and he said, be still in Hebrew is Rafa. Rafa, be still. It's a nice mantra for some that practice to have a word in their guided meditation, like to just repeat a word Rafa, be still. We're far. So hard for many of us to be still, to have this time of restful attentiveness to listen. And Bill Smith used to say that Rafa in Hebrew can be the same as let go. Let go and know that I am God. Let go. Be still, we're far. Let go. A couple ways to let go, and I talked earlier about our palms and palms up. You know, we carry things, heavy things. What is it you picture that you need to let go of? 
one of the AA slogans, let go and let God be still. Let go and know that I am God, the scripture says today. And so we can open our palms to let go, but still the weight can be there. The other is to put palms down and let whatever you're carrying drift away and go into God's open hands. As God opens God's hands to receive your burdens, to receive your cares, God will receive whatever you let go of. Maybe that's a practice. Receive God's word, God's blessing, God's strength, courage, hope, and love, forgiveness, and receive that that which is heavy, that which weighs you down, that which worries you to let go. Let God. And Jesus waits to with open hands. Come to me, all you who are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Let go. Rafa. Inhale and exhale. Receive and let go. And rest and listen. I do invite you to think about it is what today you need to receive from God and Feel free to ask. So many of the Psalms are cries of the heart, asking God for, for what the heart and the soul, the body need. So we ask to receive, and then what is it you need to let go of today, just for now? Palms down. Let it go into God's hands. I'll read the scripture through a second time. I invite you to see if there's a word or a phrase, an image that just seems to speak to you today seems to just be the right word for you. The Spirit has brought to your heart, your mind, your soul. And just let that rest within you. Maybe crystallize into a gem you can put in your pocket and carry for the next couple days and come back to. Maybe it is Rafa, let go. Maybe it'll be something else. It's different for all of us, this exercise. And so, here again, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not be fear, though the earth should change. Though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. The Lord utters the Lord's voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations the Lord has brought on the earth. 
the Lord makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. The Lord breaks the bow and shatters the spear. The Lord burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Just rest and let the Spirit carry your thoughts. Bring them in, rest them in your heart. A very relevant passage for these days. The psalmist reminding us God is our refuge and strength and says, Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, and the earth has changed with this pandemic. Though mountains shake in the heart of the sea, waters roar and foam, this image of chaos and power though mountains tremble with its tumult and there is much trembling on the earth and fear in this image there is a river whose streams may glad the city of god that god will refresh that god will bring new life that god will bring living water as christians we believe jesus offers that living water that becomes a spring within us that we worship in spirit and in truth, and that we are constantly refreshed by God's Spirit. A well of living water that never runs dry. God is in the midst of the city. Again, this image that God with all people, wherever they live, is with us. God will help when the morning dawns. Promise for fresh blessings each day goes on to say the nations are in an uproar the kingdoms totter and in the power of god's voice the word of god comes and has the power to change all things it has the power to change us in our outlook on life in our hope and our courage to give us joy even in the midst of sad times. Joy being the presence of God rather than the absence of sorrow. So here, Psalm 46, another time. And then I invite you to keep silence as long as you like. I will keep silence for a bit after this third reading. And then say a short prayer. I invite you to continue in silence if that is helpful to you. Hear the word of God. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. 
God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning comes. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. The Lord utters the Lord's voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations the Lord has brought on the earth. The Lord makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. The Lord breaks the bow and shatters the spear. The Lord burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Into your hands, O oh, merciful Savior, we commend all and everything for which we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God's peace be with you.